Hello friends this next part of Laravel tutorial for beginners programmer who want to learn this framework and in this part we will discuss how to remove or delete MySQL table data in Laravel framework. We have already discussed how to install this framework and after this how to make database connection and create table from this framework. Then after this we have discussed how to insert data into MySQL table and how to update MySQL table data in Laravel framework. So now we have proceed to next topic like how to delete or remove MySQL table data in Laravel framework. For this we have go to index.blade.php view file of student folder and here we want to make delete data link. For this here we have write form tag with attribute method is equal to post and class is equal to delete form. After this inform action we have write two curly brackets and between this we have write action method with two argument. In first we have write student controller at the rate destroy method and in second argument we have write dollar row with variable. Here we have send request to this student controller destroy method and with request we have send particular student id value with that request. Under this form first we have we have write two curly bracket and between them we have write csrf field method for handle csrf issue. Below this we have write input type is equal to hidden with attribute name is equal to underscore method and value is equal to delete. Here we have defined delete method. Lastly we want to submit this form, so we have write button tag with attribute type is equal to submit and in button we have write delete, so when we have click on this button form data has been submitted to student controller destroy method. So when user click on this button then it will directly delete data from MySQL table, but when someone click on this button then code will ask for confirmation. So for this we have go to jQuery code part and we have already included this jQuery code library in our master.blade.php page. Now here we have write dollar with form class delete form with on method and under this we have write submit event with function. So when form submitted then this code will execute. Under this we have write if statement and under condition we have write confirm with message like are you sure you want to delete it. This message will pop up with OK and cancel button on web page when we have click on delete button. Suppose we have click on cancel button then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have return false statement, that means no action will be done. But suppose we have click on OK button then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write return true statement that means form data has been submitted to student controller destroy method. So here our view page code is ready now we have go to student controller page and here we can see destroy function with dollar id argument. Under this method we have write dollar student variable is equal to student model class with find method and under this method we have write dollar it as argument. Here find method of student model class will fetch particular student whose primary key id value is equal to dollar id variable from mysql student table and store into this dollar student variable. Now here we want to remove or delete data from MySQL table, so here we have write dollar student variable with delete method, this method will make query and execute it. So this way we can delete data from MySQL table, but now we want to redirect to student list page. 
So here we have write return statement with redirect method with root method and under this method we have write student.index.blade.php. This code will redirect page to student folder index.blade.php page. Now when this page load we want to display success message also. So here we have add with method with two argument. In first argument we have write success and second argument we have write success message like data delete. We have already write code for display success message on index.blade.php page. So we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends here we can see student data in table format with edit button, but we cannot see delete button, so we have refresh page. After refresh on page we can see delete button, so we have click on particular student delete button. After clicking on delete button we have received pop up message like are you sure you want to delete it, so we have click on cancel button. After clicking on cancel button there is no action has been performed, so we have again click on delete button. But now we have click on ok button and after clicking on ok button, data has been removed from MySQL table and on web page we have received success message like data deleted. So in this part we have discussed how to remove or delete MySQL table data in Laravel framework. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.